In this video, we're going to take a look at how to share a website on your local network. We're going to choose Export, Import, or Share. And before I get to sharing, I'd like to briefly cover importing, because it doesn't take a whole video. In our last video, we did an export. You could instead choose to import that zip file, or a zip file that was created with Duplicator. All you do is browse to it and hit Next, and you have a new website. But right now, we're going to take a look at sharing. Why would you want to share a development website? Well, imagine for a moment that you want to know if your website is mobile friendly. The .dev domain names that we're creating with Desktop Server usually are only available to the machine on which you're running Desktop Server. No one else in the whole world can see it. But this option allows you to share it within your local network, which means not on the internet, just within your home or your school or whatever Wi-Fi network you're connected to. So let's hit Next. And we'll choose WP41. Now the default is no sharing, which is what we had before. We don't want that. We want local area network. And you can see it gave me 192.168.1.4. Now you'll see here there's an option for external IP. That doesn't actually work. It's something they're working on right now. So for now, we're going to stick to local area network. I go to Next. And now it's done. Now, any other machine in my home can now go to 192.168.1.4 and view the website that is at wp41.dev. You can only do this with one site at a time. So while Desktop Server can actually serve multiple websites at once, and on my own machine, I can look at multiples. I can only look at one site at a time from my phone, for example. And now this is going to continue to keep running until I turn it off. I can't easily show you how I can view it on my phone, but I can tell you I just did it. I pulled up Chrome on my Android device, and I went to 192.168.1.4, and I saw this website. Now if you want to turn it off or you want to apply it to a different domain, you simply go back to here and we say no sharing. And now it's not sharing that website anymore. So I could choose a different one or I could just leave it off. This is exceptionally useful when you want to be working on a mobile site or you're working on a Mac and you need to try it in Windows, or vice versa. It can also be useful simply to set up a website for inside your home, or at school, so your friends can access some things that are on your machine. It's easy to put up, have somebody download something, and then take it right back down.